Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle Rochford and I am an online middle school teacher and I teach in Alberta, Canada. Now recently I posted a video that was all about uh, Google Classroom getting started and I talked about the header of the Google Classroom there, the image that you can have um, on the top. And um, I ended up with a number of questions saying, hey, can you show me how you create your own? Uh, so for all of you that wanna know how to create your own Google Classroom header, I'm gonna show you today. All of my Google Classroom headers, I actually create in Google Slides. Uh, it's actually a very versatile program. It's not just for uh, presentations. And I, I actually have a video on some of the different things that you can do with Google Slides apart from presentations. Now, one of those things is creating headers for your Google Classroom. And so we're gonna pop over into the computer here and we're gonna take a look at how exactly we do that. Um, we'll start off with a brand new Google Slide presentation. Um, and one of the easiest ways to do that, make sure that you're logged into your account and then type in slides.new. And that will bring up a brand new um, Google Slide presentation here for you. Um, I'm gonna start by naming it Google Classroom Header. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna take these out here because I'm not going to be using them. Um, but what I need to do is I need to make sure that I have the proper sizing um, for, the, um, for the header, okay? And so in order to change the default size, we go to File, Page Setup, and we're gonna click here where it says Widescreen, and we're gonna go to Custom. Okay, now um, the units that I'm going to change them to here is pixels, okay? And so the pixels that we change it to is 1920 by 484. Then we hit apply. And there we have the size that we need um, for our Google Classroom header, okay? So today I'm just gonna demonstrate a, a quick, nice and easy um, you can get more complicated than what I'm gonna do today, but I'm gonna keep it nice and easy today, okay? All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the background color. So I'm not gonna leave it white. Um, I want to change it to um, a color that's more in keeping with Google Classroom. So in, in my first video in my Google Classroom series, um, we made an example class and the example class is all about Google Classroom. So why don't we go with um, a Google Classroom theme? Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to make the background color here a, um, a kind of Google Classroom green type of color. So uh, what I did was I right clicked with my mouse um, on the background there and then um, I can choose change background and I'm going to change the color, okay? Now, I don't necessarily see the exact green that I want to, so I'm gonna go down to custom and I'm going to add a custom color. Um, now, you can choose from the options that are there, or if you go to custom, you have um, a um, little slider here that you can slide around and you can you know, slide around and try and find uh, the color that you would like. Um, but I know the hex code that I want, so that's a, um, a, a six digit um, letter and number combination um, that tells the, the computer in the online world um, what color it is that, uh, that it's looking at. So I'm going to put in the hex code that we're going to use here. That looks good. Put okay, excellent, and done. And so now you'll see that my background is that sort of Google Classroom type of green color, okay? Um, then what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to do um, sort of that, that Google Classroom look where it has those um, people icon type things where there's three of them. Um, and so we're gonna, it's nice and easy to, to recreate here, okay? So I'm gonna start off um, with my shape tool 
and I'm going to choose a circle because I'm going to make uh, the head here of the uh, the first one. So um, let's see here. I'm going to, because I want it to be a perfect circle, um, I'm going to hold down the shift key while I'm making the circle. So while I'm dragging and dropping, uh, sorry, while I'm dragging out the shape, okay? If I don't do that, you can, see, you can, very ovally type of look. So you can get um, different types of um, circular shapes, but I actually want it to be a perfect circle. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to make my circle there. There we go. And let's move it over into this area over here because on Google Classroom, the, the title of the class shows up here um, automatically and so it'll superimpose itself onto it. So I'm gonna um, do these icons over to the side here a little bit. Um, we can keep it that color, but I don't want um, the outline around it. So I just want that, um, that circular whitish gray color, okay looking good I like that uh, now I'm going to create a body shape and I'm going to use this shape right here okay it's looking kind of boxy there so let's round those corners a little bit more and line them up you'll notice that 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 red line that comes uh, down there it just it tells you that you have lined them up so that the circle and this other shape uh, just below it are, um, are are lined up and centered with each other okay all right and oh, once again I want to take off that um, outline because we just want the the shape there okay all right that looks good enough there now um, I'm going to add let's see we need two more but these guys are going to be um, a different color so let's see okay I'm going to I'm going to duplicate this so what I've done is I've um, clicked on the shape that I want to duplicate and here on my Mac I'm going to press command D I'm pretty sure it is oh, I can't even remember what it is on a PC but um, there is a similar function on a PC uh, it might be control D um, so if I hit command D I get a second shape there that I can work with Okay, it's identical to this one, this very first one, okay? Um, now, I do want um, a, this guy to be a different color. He's gonna be a green color, sort of a darker green color than our, um, our background. And so once again, I, I know the hex number that I want, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the, uh, the paint bucket fill color tool, and I'm going to add another custom color. And I'm gonna put in the hex code there. It's a bit of a darker green, okay. And uh, let's see, this guy, we actually need to resize him. We want him to be just a little bit smaller than that guy. There we go. Um, and I also want to put him behind that first one, okay? So I'm going to right click on the shape, go to order, and I'm going to do send to back. Okay, and so now you'll notice that um, the green shape is now behind the whitish gray shape. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I can make him just a little, little smaller there. Okay, sure, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the, the head shape. I'm going to duplicate it, so Command D. Um, I'm going to reduce the size there a little bit, maybe about there. Okay, and I'm also going to make him that darker green color. Okay, looking good so far. All right, now I do want one other just on the other side um, of this. So I'm going to click and drag so that um, those two shapes, the two green shapes are, um, are highlighted. And I'm gonna do Command D again. And see, so you'll notice that both of them will duplicate there for me. I'm gonna move them over here. Um, I'm also going to send these guys to back. Okay. And now let's take a look at um, organizing. So I think I'm gonna put 
his body a little over there. Maybe this head we're gonna maybe move over a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking all right, right? There we go. <laughs> all right, so nice and simple, right? We'll keep it like that. Um, here we can now save this as a JPEG file um, and then we can upload it as our Google Classroom header. Uh, so in order to do that, once we're all done and ready, we'll go to File, Download, and then you'll notice that there's a number of different choices here. Um, JPEG um, or PNG will work as well. Um, I usually download it as a JPEG file. Um, you click on that and it downloads it to your computer. Okay? And once you have it on your computer, then you can go back to Google Classroom and you can upload it as your own custom header image. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you uh, want to catch up on the Google Classroom series, be sure to do that. I'll make sure that I, I link in the uh, description box, maybe put up a whatever side it goes on, the, uh, the cards there. <laughs> um, and if you have not done so, please be sure to subscribe and click on that notification bell to make sure that you get notifications whenever I add new content to the channel. We'll see you later.